Hey guys, this is the video review of the STS EOTech 553 replica site. This is probably one of the best replica EOTechs I've ever used. See, this is the 553 EOTech. We have the arms right there. Arms allows it to quick detach basically on your rail system. Pull these out. And basically, you just mount it on your gun, your rail system. It's quite simple. And once it's on, you just lock it back in. Most of the EOTechs have a screw right here and you just screw it in. So it's almost the same, almost about the same thumb, screw, just whatever you prefer. The um, the rail system on a MP7 and M16, it can be a little bit hard at first to get on because of this. And you actually have to get this in between the rails so it'll sit properly. Other than that, the construction of it is full metal nice metal um, it takes triple A battery pull forward and then up and as you can see the batteries are right there triple A um, it's advertised for double A for some reason I don't know why but most places will have it advertised as the double uh, A Anyway, to put back on, fully seat it down, and then it'll be like that. And there'll be a gap right there. Pull forward towards the lens, and then pull down on this right there. I like the ones that take the AAA and AA batteries better. I think the AA is 552 EOTech. Um, the batteries, the optic will last a lot longer. If these batteries, I mean, I left it in the case for about two weeks and it's still running. The uh, little watch batteries, the whatever they're called, the circles, they don't last that long. Um, I've had an Amoeba EOTech before and it wasn't that great, but this is the best one I've ever had. I highly recommend it. Um, it has the elevation and windage adjustments. All you need is a simple flathead screwdriver to change them. And it goes down, you go clockwise and counterclockwise for up. Same way over here. To remove the shield, you'll need an Allen key. You can remove the shield and paint it or put something else on it, whatever. On the real EOTech, the NV switch, basically when you have night optics on, it allows you to see the reticle only when you have night vision on. You wouldn't be able to see that without night vision. Um, on the replicas, it just changes to green. Green, red, basically. Brightness level up, brightness level down, see it changing. Um, I think it has 10 settings. And as far as replica sites go, this site has, in broad daylight, this can easily be seen. Ether reticle can easily be seen. So it's surprising. This runs for around $99. I'm not positive about it, but I think the real, real EOTech. When you turn it, like uh, if you're on the shooter's front end or whatever, 
you uh, can't see the red dot being projected as the hologram, but on replicas you can if you see that red dot right there. That's the hologram. You can see it on the other side. So it's sort of a disadvantage in night games or whatever. Um, it's almost like that with all games. That's why you want to try to get a reflective lens on the front, I guess. Sort of block that out. Okay, looking at my light right here, you can still, of course, see the red dot. It's pretty bright. That's over 100 watts. I mean, and you really can't see green at all. Green's a little bit less intensity in the sunlight. The CS EA Tech is an excellent site. Excellent EA Tech replica. I would highly recommend it to anybody, especially for the price it is, for what it is. Uh, if you want one, stop down by airsoftoutletnorthwest.com and you can get one there. This has been the video review of the SCS EOTech 553.